Welcome back to the channel guys. We are at PXG Dallas. We are gonna be fitted for the Black Ops driver. We're gonna compare it up to my gamer driver. We're gonna see what the spin and everything looks like, get the right shaft in it, get me all set up here with PXG. All right, let's all do right. some warm up yeah, here. Yeah, just go ahead and get warmed up. That's our Gen, uh, sorry, not Gen, uh, it's a 0317T. Um, more of a tour type uh, iron. You'll see Zach Johnson playing that. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Um, so it's kind of that in between of a, Hey, I need a forgiving uh, players type of iron, but with a little less, you know, uh, juice on the inside. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, let's get a quick little warm up in. We want to jump straight into the driver. <sighs> Body's not as young as it used to be. I'll tell you that much. Apologize about the voice. I've been a little sick. I feel fine. I just sound awful. <clears throat> Not sure where my energy is going to be today. We'll see. So we got Scott with us today. He's going to be doing the fitting. I've actually been fitted by Scott before. Did a great job. Love the guy. Man, these irons feel good. How often do you get to play? Not as often as I would like. <laughs> I'm a... Uh, Firefighter, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm an arson investigator. I am married. I have three children. Oh, wow. How old? I have a one year old, a two and a half year old, and a seven year old. And you are busy. Yep, we are busy. So, and then it gets harder and harder having three kids to say, hey, babe, I'm going to go play golf and shoot some content for five and a half, six hours. <laughs> yeah. You got the kids. Yeah, so. no, no doubt. <clears throat> A couple more here. I'm, yeah. like I said, I've, been, I've been sick, so the energy level might not be. <laughs> it's all good. What I'm going to go do is get some measurements just where you're at with your driver. That's fine. Swing weight, length, all that. Yeah. Is that your, do you hit a slight draw? Yeah, I usually play okay. draw. Okay. <clears throat> all right. I would love, I love, when I do play the cut, I'm, I'm, I can control it much more. But because my normal ball flight's a draw, mm -hmm. typically the miss is. Left. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Over so, the top pull. What I'm just going to do is I'm going to tag this as your gamer here. Okay. Um, and then I just want, I always start off my things, five to 10 shots, get a baseline, talk about what's good. Right. So this is the gamer. Of course that fades. <clears throat> First swing of the day. It's all good. Falling backwards, I can feel it. What's the spin numbers look like? Right now, you're at 3,200. Yeah, it's a little much. That felt better. There, 2,700. Yeah, it's more like it. I love, it. I'm very happy that you have an inside out club path. A little bit of an overcorrection, but not too bad. Yeah, just give okay. me a couple more. About a little left. Yep, a lot left. I'm fine with that. So overall on average right now, 2,600 on the RPMs. If I took the one bad one out, right. that kind of is a little high. You're at 25 on average, 270, almost six carry, 296 total. Yeah. Great launch, great ball speed. Yeah, really, really good style of numbers. And you know, just to back that up, your smash factor at 148, yeah, that, that speaks for itself. Hitting it pretty solidly. Absolutely. And as I warm up even more, typically the ball speed will top out 165. Yeah, I believe that. 
So. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> awesome, really good stuff here. Um, love it. Obviously, if we can launch it high and get low spin, that's obviously the ultimate combination. So that's what we'll be working with in the Black Ops. Okay. All right. Let's get Let me start getting something built up here. Appreciate it. I always kind of like start to apples to apples. So start with the average of black. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Start there. Work our way through. Hit some other uh, shafts as well. Good. Got eight, eight, eight degree. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I typically launch it pretty high, so I try yeah. and go as low as I can. Yeah. We could even go a little crazier. I mean, uh, I've done some fittings with other uh, influencers and. We've, we've taken it down from an eight to down yeah. To I think Busta's so. like down at like a seven or six, yep. isn't he? Absolutely. Yeah, he was. Um, so, Black Ops um, 0311. Um, Black Ops just launched yesterday. Um, big difference is carbon fiber uh, top. Okay. And bottom. And bottom, yeah, it makes yep. it a little lighter. Um, we have the new AMF technology, so it's a proprietary uh, face. Um, we're getting the ball speeds faster, so mm. we're kind of letting the technology really speak for itself. Um, yeah, this driver kind of speaks for itself in sure. technology. So Definitely. got some uh, awesome perimeter weighting that we're going to be able to play around with. Right. Uh, let me just tag this, and then you'll be good to go. All right, guys, let's take a look at it real quick. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we got the 8-degree Black Ops 311 from PXG. You can see it's got the carbon fiber here, and then you got the carbon fiber top. Let's take a look. So at first glance, to me, mm -hmm. looks a little bit bigger than the head I have. Yes. Yep. Um, just a little deeper. Exactly. Um, exactly. Face looks pretty similar. Feels maybe just a little bit heavier than what I have, but okay. we'll see. Felt really good. Remember when we were talking about that 165 ball speed? Yeah. We just hit it on the first shot. First shot. There yeah. we go. So, uh, cool nice little draw. Is, yeah, you've hit some other great ones with yours, um, but that first one, one, almost 166 ball speed, low launch at 12 and a half, some pretty solid spin in a 302 total. What was the spin at? 2,700. Okay, right around what we were at. So this is another one. There we go. Very good. So there is kind of where we want it, right? So right. 166 ball speed, 15 launch, 2200 RPMs of spin. Yeah. And then we're getting that carry now because we're launching it at your ultimate height. Right. But with super low spin, 290 carry, a 312 total. That's there you go. Pretty solid. Yeah, that's what we want. A little push draw. Huh? Yeah. No, that one didn't fit. turn over. Okay. Left the face open just a little. So that one there. 3,200. Yeah, only 163 ball speed, just a little miss A little bit hit. of a miss. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Still not a bad miss as far no, as. not at all. That's probably still in the fairway. Playability wise. That felt like it was off the heel. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yep, you called it right there. Yeah. <laughs> Real quick guys, if you're enjoying the video, be sure to drop a like, it really helps me out. Also consider hitting that subscribe. I post a lot of golf tips, drills, course vlogs, product reviews, a lot of stuff like this. Uh, if you're enjoying yourself, hit that subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Let's get back to the video. That felt a little better. A little toey maybe. Yeah. Uh, a little toey there. It's that overcorrection. Now let's find the, the middle. Left. Yep. It's the miss right now. Let me make a small, small change with this. Let's say we could open the face a little so bit. So huh? our, our clubs are upright okay. to begin with. So what I'm going to do is, um, with you liking to hit a draw, mm. I'm going to move that a little flatter just to help you out with that. Okay. Um, and then, you know, obviously we'll make some, some, some changes as we go, but uh, yeah, definitely see that one. For sure. It? Yeah, I can definitely see my miss with that right in, at that specs yep. was left. For sure. And on the top of my head, unfortunately, I don't know the title is lying on that, but this is an upright driver. To yeah. With. And that would definitely, upright drivers, guys, will definitely make you go left. Yes, no, no doubt. No doubt about that. All right, same setup, just a little bit different line angle there. Okay. Let's see if we can straighten it out a little bit. How'd that feel? Felt pretty good. Yeah. So there. That's the general, you know, on paper miss is you're gonna yeah. go a little bit more flat, you're gonna move that miss a little bit more right, you go more upright, obviously, like you said, more left. Right. 
spin on a cut though is 2600 that's pretty good yeah i mean if you got if you got something you know hazard up to left and you got to hit right that's a bomb yep that one felt good Put a little push draw no oh. yeah, stayed out right interesting center of the club face just didn't close it down yeah i mean you hit that one smack that right <laughs> in the middle yeah find your swing Yeah, that that's that's lovely there. Yeah, that's really good ball. Um, One sixty-two and a half on ball speed. I don't think it's your obviously your best. Yeah, I tried to slow it down almost a little bit to try kind of and find your, the center and your gaming kind of area, right? Yeah, um, but not a bad ball by any means. Um, the one before that was just a uh, open face. So taking that one out, looking at it, you're in comparison so far. Very similar numbers of about two two yards farther total, um, and uh, sorry, four yards total, two yards uh, farther carry. So, biggest thing is we're lower spin. Yeah. Right about about three hundred RPMs. Yeah. But like I said, we're, this is not a finished prog. Let's try some other stuff as well. Okay. And that was with the hazardous black that I have currently in yeah, my game. Yeah, I with. always in the fitting like to start apples yeah. with apples and then kind of work our way through. For sure. Because um, every head and shaft might not work together. For right? sure. So, <laughs> start there. Yep. I am actually going to turn this down here. Okay. I'm going to go down to seven. Okay. Uh, the reason why is that's going to help open the face. Yeah. And obviously the flat, if we start seeing just consistent right misses, then yeah, then we'll sure. Put it back. Put it back. But I want to see what that does because we might be able to get a hair more ball speed out of this one. Yep. Do that there. Let me just tag this and you'll be yep. good to go. Ten side black. Yep. 65 gram. So great shaft. It's an extra stiff as well. Obviously, everything you're going to be is extra stiff. Right. Um, that's a Tenzi AV raw white. It uh, feels. <laughs> the other one felt more whippy to me. Yep. yep. This one feels a little more more strong. Yeah, it's going to so, be down in here. Going to be a little bit more tip stiff. Right. Um, you might even see a little bit lower spin, but I, I, with the shaft you're in, I don't think it's a bad option. For yeah. You. Um, a lot of testing here behind those. Definitely, and we did. Crank this one down to seven degrees. Yes. See if we could open the face just a little bit. Okay. That's really high. How spinny was that? Spinny. Yeah. Real spinny. So going that high, it's. So then there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kind of the reverse offset. The first one might have just been a bad swing, but 15 launch, 2100 spin, 310 total. Yeah. Pretty solid. We'll take that. Pretty straight ball flight. Absolutely. A little bit of a push, but. <clears throat> That's what we want. It's a little high, but. A little high, and you're right. Touch spinny, but, you know, 290 down the middle on that one, not bad. But yeah, yeah. I would take that all day. I'll Something while I always say in my fits is like, yeah, we're trying different extra stiff shafts. I want you to let, let me know like what feels good, what doesn't, because when we're looking right. at data, when we're a yard apart, that you know that's not going to tell me much. I want to know what feels good to you and what doesn't. Right. Personally, I think I like the other shafts so far better. Yeah, for you. a little bit. Um, I mean, this one. I mean, I haven't put a really good good swing on yeah. this one yet, but. The misses are, are big. Yes, I agree. Now that's your, that was solid, right? Yep. I don't think it's your best, best, but. No, a little in the face, good ball. it felt like. Good ball. I'm going to grab a couple other shafts. Also, if you ever get fitted, I would highly recommend slowing down <laughs> every now and then. Because yes. you can just get in the rhythm of just beating balls. Yeah, you don't do that on the course. Here at PXG Dallas, we're a we're quality over quantity. Yeah. We don't we don't want you walking out feeling like you just did a marathon. <clears throat> right. Take a break. Step into a ball like you would on the course. Visualize your shot and then hit it. See what happens. Pretty solid there. <clears throat> I still don't see the ball speed consistently on yeah. this shaft, so I'm going to switch you out of this. Okay. I'm going to move you to the uh, Aldola uh, MD Green 65X. Okay. Very, very good shaft. Uh, 
Honestly, it's one of my underrated favorites. Yeah, for sure. I will let you know, last time they fitted me, mm -hmm. which obviously it's been years, maybe two, um, I was in the graphite design GP7X. Interesting. So. Okay. How did you like that shaft? Because it was good. I mean, it's a very good shaft, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I know my golf swing has probably changed. My speed has changed. So, yeah. I'm not sure if that's still a fit. It but could just be. So, just so you know, and it might be something to. Well, let's try. Yeah. It, you know, throw you know, it in there. The, the weight might be a thing behind it. Um, but you know, the other thing that I love all about shafts is like it says 60 on the shaft. Probably plays around 65. Yeah. You know, it doesn't always mean by that. But this one's at 65, extra stiff. Mid launch, low spin. Okay, good deal. Let me tag this, it'll be good to go. We're still keeping that one degree down. Okay. Um, but also. Yeah, if I'm missing left with it open, then that's not. Yeah. This shouldn't be an issue. All right, let's try. That, that last one, we stepped into it like we were on the tee box. Yeah, and imagine that well, shot, so. imagine that fairway that you're, you're consistently playing. <clears throat> Step in. Yeah, I love that. That's a low launch too. Yeah, that's on our Texas fairways down here. You'll yeah, that'll run forever. Run forever. <laughs> so first one off is 2200 spin, 302 total. And you're right, right? 164, not too bad. 10 launch, you know, maybe a touch low, but yeah. if that's your fairway finder, I'm not, not Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Still not a bad miss. 162 ball speed, 15 launch, 2200, 284 carry, and 306 total. Yeah. I mean, if that turns over just a hair, it's, 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 a, it's a perfect. 320 total, yeah. you know? Agreed. A little push there. Okay. So now, right, that might be a little bit open face that we, we yeah. already made with that driver. Right. But purely just the, I know the direction wasn't your best, but direction of trackman numbers, so far this is the best option that we fit. Right, before. maybe we want to try it at eight and see. Yeah, if... let's, let's move it back. Okay. Because yeah, that's 2,000 spin, by about 2,100, 2,090. Yeah, really, really. 284 carry, two, 309. 163, it's about average for me. So I'm okay with that 14 and a half launch, that's good. Smash is a little lower, but. Yeah, yeah, well, at 143, you're right. Yeah. You were at, you're at 148 with yours. Yeah. Um, big thing that we're in now is ball speed. You were at 162, we're up to 163. So not a ton difference from that standpoint, right. but total distance, we're up about 10 yards right now. Right. So now we're back still with the, which yep. one is this? That's the uh, uh, Aldila. Aldila. Uh, 65X. Yep. Uh, back to an eight degree. Eight degree. Let's see if we can close that face just a hair. Let's see where that one goes. Big old push Pretty, draw. Yeah. 162, 15 launch, 2200, 285 carry, and 305 total. That's good though. How does the would, shaft would, feel to you? It feels good. Okay, awesome. It probably feels the best out of all of them that we've tried so far. Okay, great. <clears throat> I feel like if I can just put a good swing on it, that is probably gonna be the norm right there. A little pushy. <clears throat> a little bit. Yeah. Club face just open. Again, slow down. Find your fairway. That's, that's, the that's one. money right there. 166 yeah. ball speed, 13 launch, 2,500 spin, just under 290 carry and 310 total. Yeah, that's what we want right there. Smash if back you up notice, the guys, when I slow myself down and actually take my time, the outcome is way, way, way better. Absolutely. Good tempo. So, yeah. 
do, do your routine. If your routine is put your glove on, undo it, let's go. Get ready for a tee shot. Step into it just like you would on the course. A little pushy, but not terrible. Yeah. finish that was pretty solid Three, <laughs> 300 down the right side of the fairway yeah uh so to be honest with like what what feels the best out of you this shaft feels the best so far this I, so far i feel like this shaft feels the best it's okay. just i don't know if it's a, a me thing where i'm not manip manipulating the face like i should yeah or if it's just lagging just a little bit numbers wise <laughs> This is by far the best. Yeah, by that's what it feels best. like. When I actually put a good swing on it, it feels pretty good. That felt pushy, but it felt good. Yeah. Yeah. Now that club path, face angle, a little open. Hit one more for me with that one. Now, as far as the weights go, is there anything in the weights that we could switch around to? Right. Right now, right, so we have it moved up to the front. What yep. I always do is I like to get the shaft set up. Yep. And then once we kind of have a, a shaft that we, okay. we, we like, we're going to move it into some weighting differences. Okay. That one felt good. Let's see what that does. Yeah. Just push again, but. But down the right side of the fairway at 166 ball speed, I really like this setup. Yep. Um, like I said, right now this is the leader in the clubhouse. Uh -huh. We're going to try one other shaft. Okay. This is a great shaft for a lot of people that like to draw the ball. Yeah. Uh, graphite Design XC6X. Okay. So, like waiting right now, I have it up front, try and get it as low spin as possible. Um, but we might move it more, a little bit more, make it a little heavier in general. Right. Um, but like I said, that's more of a fine tuning aspect. That that's the cool part with ours is like we've always been a little higher spinning driver. Right. Um, but that's now, what when I had I had the uh, I think I had the Gen Four, and so, it was that was my problem with it. It was just so spinny. I fit three customers this week. It's funny that you brought up Gen Four. Gen Four, it's a solid driver. Yeah. Really solid driver. Now, cool aspect. Every one of my fits this past week, three. Uh, have gained over 21 yards by going to Black Ops. Yeah. So just by that, the small weighting differences, but the new proprietary face, uh, the titanium alloy, it's a huge, huge difference. In yeah, the for sure. Let me uh, let me tag this and you'll be good yep. to go. All right, so again, guys, we're going with the Graphite Design XC6, which is the extra stiff Graphite Design Tour AD shaft. Catch your breath. You're not on, you're not, hitting balls like this on the on the golf course so <laughs> slow it down get into your routine find you a fairway this shaft feels good though as far as just right off the bat as far as stability and control good felt pretty good felt a little left maybe Oh, that's pretty Not straight. <laughs> 163 and a half. Uh, a little spinny, maybe? Yeah, 3,100, 290 down the middle. Still 290 with 3,100 is, you just get that down to 2,200, you're. It's useful. Yeah. That one felt good. Awesome. Yeah, that's what yeah, we want. Really, really well. There, 164 ball speed. Similar launch as the last one, but big difference. Cut down about 800 RPMs. Yeah, 2300, 2370. Yeah. So 285, 306. Pretty solid there. And that's that's the ball flight. That that would be my ideal drive. Yeah, that's awesome. Just a little bit of a draw. Maybe a hair going. toey. Not a bad miss whatsoever. No, and still yeah. drawing. Just kind of, hair. You said that was toey? I felt it. So that was kind of like that toe bomb, low yeah. spin, 2,000 spin, 285 carry, 310 total. Yeah. It's really solid. Yep. This is feeling good. So far, I've had no misses, really. Yeah. No, it's tight dispersion. Yeah. And like I said, we talked about at the beginning. That's my biggest thing. I hit it far enough yeah. that when I don't hit it well, it's still 290. Yep. 
that my big thing is dispersion. Yeah. I would, I would rather be in the fairway at 280, 270 even, than that's, bomb at 320. I don't really a, care about that. Yeah, exactly. And that's, you know, what feels good to you as well. Right. Yeah, that feels good. Might be a little pushy. Yeah. But the solid, it was, I mean, it's dead center of the club face. Little toe, maybe? Yeah, touch toe. But still. A little it, it, open face. Yeah. But still, again, carries, what, 280, 272, 272 total? There. Yeah. Maybe a hair spinny, but that's really straight. Yeah. <clears throat> 2800 still not bad no oh, not by you know <laughs> if, if that's you know you're and you're down the middle 295 you would yeah. take you know which 295 that's on the track man again out here in texas that's 310 exactly <clears throat> see if i can't swing a little harder at one see what happens All right, so now out of, the, out of these two shafts, what has felt better to you? Both of them have felt pretty good as far as the stiffness and the control. Okay. The only difference I've seen, the miss right with this one is not near as exaggerated. That, I feel like yeah. I'm closing the face a little better. So what I always like to do is, I like to do an apples to apples on the screen of kind of where you're at dispersion wise. Yep. With the uh, green AV raw, sorry, not AV raw, NV green. Um, these are your total misses. So yeah, you do have a little bit of a right bias. Right. Um, but you know that's not a bad thing by any means. It's yep. controlled. And these are your misses now with the one that you're in your hands, the XC Graphite Design. So yeah, you're a little bit more maybe on the center bias. You have right. one or two misses outright. That could be just simple of club path. Yeah. Um, numbers wise, you know, when I when I look at this, I'll take this one out. You are technically a little bit farther with the uh, Envy Green 65X. Yeah. Um, by about seven yards. Total or carry, very similar, but really it's just purely spin that why we're uh, lower with that other one. Right. Which, again, like, like we talked about, if we, if we were able to, like you said, we find yeah. the shaft, we manipulate the, this a little bit yep. and it closes the face just a hair, then that may be the option. Hey. I don't, I'm fine with either one. Okay. Um, let me hit like one or two yeah. more with this one. <clears throat> I'm swinging a little harder and it's clo it's not closing, but yeah. it's a ball, sp ball speed 165. 165 on that one. Yeah. Solid there. A little really? toe maybe, but. Yeah, it was that kind of toe bomb spin. Right. Uh, 160, 1600 on spin, 15, almost 15 degrees of launch. Yeah, way down total. on spin. Yeah. <laughs> And I, I think I think it's the. I, if if truly I'm being honest with you, I yeah. would fit you into this one, and the reason why is it's just purely numbers. It's right. really really good. Now let's do some fine tuning with it. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys. So we're going with. The NV Al Green 65X. Aldi Aldilla. Yep. The Aldilla 65 Green X. All right. Let's see here. And then what we're going to be doing now here with our uh, precision weighting, perimeter weighting on our driver and the black ops, is moving around, see, you know, if we can get maybe a little bit more left bias to help yep, you, yep. Uh, but still, still while maintaining that low spin. Right. So my miss with that one was just a hair right. It would probably would have still been in the right side of the fairway, maybe the right yeah. rough, but we're trying to just dial it in a little more centered. All right. So what we've done differently now with this driver here um, is we, similar weighting, overall weight. Um, but we've distributed to now where we need you to be at with help to your dispersion. So we've taken the weight from across the face in both uh, the perimeter weightings, now moved it more towards the heel. So okay. 12 and a half in the heel, two and a half in the other two ports in the back. Okay. All right. Good deal. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> yeah, that's left. Let's see. No. That's beautiful. perfect, literally perfect. Yeah, we want that. So 163, 13 and a half launch, 22 spin, 
282 carry in 306 total. And more importantly, 306 down the middle. Yeah, right down the middle. Let's see if we can keep it going. Hair of a miss? A little bit. A little bit, okay. Yeah, a little bit. But <clears throat> you hit it right right in the middle of the sweet spot there. Yeah. Um, just a little open face. Just a little hair open face there. Still not a terrible miss. No, be in the right rough. Yeah. A little high. Yeah. But straight. Dynamic loft there. Yeah. 18. Swung a little more up on that one. But again, not a bad miss. Not a bad miss. That was better. <clears throat> Whoa. Oh, I felt better. I don't know if. It says club path came in 11 and a half on that one. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Yeah, I don't know if that was. I don't feel like I came that far inside out. First one was really good, and we haven't had one since. I'm yeah, slow it do down, that. go through your routine. <clears throat> yeah. Like I said, a little left, not terrible, but. That's 303, 2200 spin there. Yeah. Like right there. So far off the toe. But really good miss. Yeah, no doubt. 300 <laughs> down the middle. And the number's good, yeah. It didn't have the distance really, but no, 159 no, no. ball speed. Little Healy. <clears throat> does it feel weird at all? Like waiting it, it just It's just, no, I don't, I don't feel like it does. Just feel like. The swing weight, dead same. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't feel heavier or, or anything, so. Okay. <clears throat> Sometimes it's just as easy as my grip is a little stronger than it yep. should be, just for whatever reason. Drop kick that one. Okay. See where that one goes. Ah. Personally, in my opinion, I would go back to where we were. Yeah, let's go back to where we were and see if that's why I'm all of a sudden can't control yeah. the face. It's trial go. and error, people. We got to figure out what works and what doesn't work. Exactly. That doesn't work, so exactly. let's move on. <clears throat> so the typical weighting, like I said, is 12 and a half and then two and a half and two and a half, but you could put them in any spot. Right. Um, but our old weighting system, seven and a halfs, which I've kind of seen some success with it, and that's what I've done with yours. Yeah. Um, just kind of fit it off in the last week or so. Um, so I'm going to put you back in that setup. I think it's truly where you were your best. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Settle in. This should be our combo right here. Yeah, I mean... A little low, but a little low, but right fairway finer in Texas when it's windy, like the last couple of days. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I felt that. That's inside the out. It's getting yep. worse and worse. 
Feel straight. like you're dragging, you're gonna hit this track right. man and drive it down that line. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, let me hit a cut or two. That usually straightens it out for me. Yep. <laughs> There's a big old cut. That's a <laughs> slice, my friends. Yeah, I usually swing outside the end a few times and then it, yep. I go back and it'll. Pretty solid there. Yeah, I would take that off the tee. What's the, under. what's the spin on that? 36? Uh, well, 36. But, but still. For a fade. Yeah, that's, that's when you short par four, you just need a fairway. All right, let's go back now and see where we're at. <laughs> Uh, a little yeah. straighter, just a push. Yeah. Again, that's more of a swing issue with me than it is. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the cool part is, is you're just a hair, just a touch off. I mean, yeah, we're talking about it's right there. Still, very, very good swings. <clears throat> All right, let's get this one. That one should be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one right there. Yeah, that's now, that felt good. Touch spinny on that one, but you know, literally on the line. Three hundred down the line, exactly. That's yeah, that's I, really solid there. I think that's what we're gonna go with, man. Yeah, and I, I, I love it. And this that's chef. just a standard weighting, right? Uh, it's a little different. It's, okay. It's you know we're still using all of the weighting ports, but we're we're taking it a little different. That's the cool part about what the PXG is. We can distribute the weight all across the face. And for sure. For you, it's more moved up front, lower launch, lower spin. And was this at eight or seven? This is at eight. Okay. This is at eight. Yep. Good deal. So standard than that, but the cool part, like I said, is if we ever need to adjust, we can come back in, see where we're at. For sure, definitely. All right, guys, we have found it. Yes, sir. The new Black Ops 0311, eight degree. Got our weights, and we went with. The Envy Green 65X, it's a great shaft, yep. um, kind of a, to be honest, un underrated shaft that um, is a really, really good option out there for a lot of people. For sure. So if you're looking to get in some PXG, come check out my guy, Scott, okay. here at PXG Dallas, or go to the local PXG in your neighborhood. Absolutely. Uh, go get fitted. It is highly, highly, highly recommended uh, to get fitted for your driver. You'll drop strokes off the tee. Overall, go get you some PXG.